Welcome to this brief tutorial on state machine design in Simulink. If you've never heard about Stateflow, this is a great opportunity to learn how to build state machines in just a few clicks. State machines are widely used to represent high-level modes in embedded systems. For instance, they let you describe how your system transitions from one operating mode to another based on conditions you specify. They also come into play when you want to implement failure management or recovery logic in order to make your system robust or fault tolerant. Let's take a look at a simple application. This state machine has two inputs, a switch corresponding to the user action putting the system on and off and a boolean failure flag that is true when the system detects a failure from one of its sensors. The algorithm itself consists in two distinct state machines. The top one tells us how the system processes the failure information. If a failure occurs for more than two seconds, we'll enter the strong failure mode, which can only be exited if the failure disappears for four consecutive seconds. The bottom state chart describes the behavior of system operational modes based on the presence or absence of failure and the user action on the switch. The user can put the system on and off by toggling the switch input. If the system is on and a strong failure is detected, it will transition to a so-called degraded mode. Note that each state machine is associated with an execution order. In a given time step, the top state chart will be updated first before proceeding to the second one. To make your life easier, Stateflow integrates a powerful debugger that lets you set breakpoints and run step-by-step -step simulations for a better understanding of your algorithm. The outputs of state machines are usually routed to lower level layers of your embedded system which are activated or inhibited based on the current active mode. For the competition, state machines should be a key component of your algorithm. So take some time to practice and get familiar with this environment. 